G'day trendsetters. Today I'm coming to you from Chipley, Florida. This is a small little town in western Florida. First time visiting, I've got a route of about 80-ish miles planned. I'm joined by a good mate today. You've seen him in previous videos. So what we're going to do is the usual kick off a short tour of the downtown, the historic downtown in this instance, and then get cracking. There are several beautiful little towns along the way. So it should be a very interesting ride and a rather tepid ride. Here is the historic railway station. It also plays host to the Washington County Historical Society. And on the weekends, the old railway station is a farmer's market. I'm unaware of when this railway station ceased operation. Seems to be a thing these days. There's the farmer's market. And just over there is a caboose from the l and Railway, whatever that was. It's a pretty unusual caboose as far as cabooses go. You might notice the railway runs directly through town. You don't see that in every town these days. There you go, old mural on the side of the building right there. Welcome to Chipley. Once upon a time, this used to be the Vance Theatre. Across the road, folks, the bastion of American society, the United States Post Office for Chipley, Florida. The Washington County News. For all facts concerning this town, you'll have to check out the description below. This will not be the most informative tour today. On a little bit of a time crunch. Looks like this house building was burned out at some point in time. Or being renovated, one of the two. The Dunn Building, 1916. And there he is, there's my mate, Todd. Hello. Okay, trendsetter is about to enter the very first dirt road. Uh oh, looks a bit sandy up here. Sandy. One handed sandy. Don't ride one handed in the sand. Some washboards and corrugation as well. Oh, bloody beautiful. Right on the edge of town, folks. Hello, first dog interaction. Hello, dog. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You naughty boy. You go home now. <laughs> Eight water tower of sorts here in Chipley, Florida. Okay, we have our first dodgy road, road closed. Let's see how long the section is. It's 1.2 k's. Folks had the detour. That was an extremely dodgy road. Scaling a steady climb here in Western Florida. Granted, it's no huge berg, 
but it's been going uphill, well, I don't know, half a mile, which is significant for Florida. Uh oh, bit of sand. Nice. Looks like somebody forgot to pick the corn. A little bit of swampy action on the left side of the road. Looks like Cypress Grove. Excellent photography opportunity right here. Oh yeah, super diverse road conditions and road services in this part of Florida. Absolutely lovely route thus far. The only thing really missing is copious tree cover and it's Hot as f today. 90 degrees Fahrenheit, it's about 32 Celsius with a lot of humidity. As you can see, I'm already sweating my bollocks off. No, this is a gorgeous road. With today's temperatures, I'm hoping much of our route is going to be tree lined, lined with tree canopies, and so on. Baseball field in the middle of nowhere. Maybe it's the other field of dreams. I have no idea what is up Todd's ass today, or what he had for breakfast. He is riding like 10 men. Bloody hell. We are rolling into a town whose name I forget. It begins with W. Wausau? Something like that. On the right, the Wausau Town Hall, Wausau, maybe. Here we have the United States Post Office for Wausau, Florida, 32463. If I've gotten that pronunciation wrong, well, sorry about that. And I've also got a ton of sweat in my eyes. It is just pissing off me today. In we go to the store. way cooler in here. Well, I saw uh, Masonic Lodge. Here we go, Katie's Cafe. It's a rather interesting building. I think that concludes our tour of Wausau, or however you pronounce it. Folks, I just learned Wausau is home to the Possum Festival. This is really a surprisingly hilly area of Florida. Gas station in the middle of nowhere, out of business. That's a shame. Well, we might be entering the next town, I believe, is Vernon, Florida. Okay, confirmed. We're in the small town of Vernon, Florida. There is the United States Post Office. 32462 is the zip code. Well, folks, there isn't too much here in Vernon, Florida. Mostly a junction these days, it seems. There's the library. Is all you need to know about Vernon, Florida. There we go. Welcome to the city of Vernon, Florida. Three, two, four, six, two. And here is an old suburban van, Weaver's Coach Line.
on the left, Laura O'Brewer. What's that about? Okay, it's a community centre. Well, it looks like it's out of business. Living Vernon, crossing an impressive bridge and waterway. Presently, folks, we're in the middle of the day, or close to, it's around about 1.30 central time. This road, folks, is rougher than any of today's gravel roads. Well, this is pitiful, walking a pretty steep climb, very deep gravel. The camera doesn't give it justice, we completely lost traction. Bloody hell. The heat is really kicking in. And this deep gravel is making progress quite slow. Tough sector. Didn't help any, but there's absolutely no bloody tree cover. Without doubt, today is the hottest day I've ridden in 2021. This is what I'm talking about. Marvellous respite from the heat. Whew. Tree canopy. I believe we have approximately five kilometers, or thereabouts, for the next town and the next hydration opportunity. Very, very hot right now. Some of my friends watching this video are probably loving it, seeing me hurt, suffer, sweat, perspire. Masonic Lodge, middle of nowhere, Careyville. Looks like it's abandoned. Entering the outskirts of Careyville. I am pretty blowing, holy moly. Need some fluid, very dehydrated. Feeling a wee bit lightheaded at the moment. Here's the Dollar General, which we're blowing off because there's a gas station there and they've got shade. Dollar Generals are renowned for having absolutely no bloody shade. And we need shade and hydration. Here's what you all paid to see. The gas station scene in Kerryville, Florida. Completely bloody knackered. It's probably 95, 100 feel like temperature. So we're gonna Relax, chill out, and, uh, and vibe in these beverages. Not much here in Kerryville, but there's the town hall. Right, I we're leaving Kerryville. Kerryville Water Tower. Chugging along here late afternoon. My mate Toddy's feeling pretty amazing, I think. Me, amazingly average. Beyond the tree line, folks, the water tower to the city of Bonifay, Florida. National Guard Armory, 153rd Cavalry, Bonifay, Florida. Cycling in the heat of summer. On the gravelly roads, less travel. We find ourselves in a very exotic location at the moment. Bonifay. Florida, hanging out at the family dentistry parking lot. It's amazing experiences we share with you. There we go folks, the Piggly Wiggly. An establishment in the southeastern United States. Supermarket chain. Well folks, this is going to be a very short pass through the town of Bonifay. I am completely bloody roasted. So we're going to make haste for the start town which is about 10 miles away, 16 kilometers. There's the sheriff's office. Here is the courthouse for Holmes County. Pardon the sun glare. The main drag through downtown. Alright folks, we're about to leave Chipley, very abbreviated tour. I shall return in the future. Leaving Bonifay, home stretch, totally smoked, less than 
nine miles to ride back onto the dirt roads. The big problem today has been obviously the heat and the lack of shade. So this is a route I probably would not ride it until the winter time. Inside the final seven miles. Conversational skills are non-existent. Just riding tempo. Well, less than five miles ago, we just encountered a sand pit. Not what you need when you're completely knackered. Both of us tried riding it and now we're hoofing it. Yeah. Rolling again, sort of. Yes, it seems this is the last of the dirt roads today. What a mongrel. I saved the worst for last. Welcome back into Chipley, Florida. Welcome back into Chipley proper, the downtown. And there we have the Piggly Wiggly. Down home, down the street. Well folks, we made it back to Chipley, Florida in a state I would guesstimate. Close the heat exhaustion. Pretty crazy. Anyway, we grown adults, we're good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed tagging along. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for stupid videos such as this one. More sensible ride experience videos. No bullshit gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, and of course, assorted madness, as all of it is released to the channel. I have no idea how I managed to rattle that spiel off. I'll see you and my mate down there. He's too knackered to wave. All right, in the next video.